So I only have one cat right now, that's Jericho, but I have had 12 other cats in my personal life and I've worked with hundreds of cats professionally as a sitter. So I've been across every type of living situation, every type of enrichment setup, toys, play routines, litter box setups, food, cat care, all the things, and I'm condensing all of that, the best of the best, of cat enrichment in this video. Hello my friend, it is Jess and my boss Jericho and it is a blessing that you are here. Hallelujah. So number one, we are going to talk about health and safety because proper health and safety is the foundation of building out your cat enrichment. So first I would suggest a cat happiness checklist. So this will help you stay organized with your cat's care needs. And this is a nice way to get started getting to know your cat a little more so that you can provide the ultimate health and care. I do have a cat happiness checklist freebie along with some other cat care tips. I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can sign up to get it. baby <laughs> boy. Number two, I would suggest setting up a cat guardian. So this is something very important that I learned from when I was a cat sitter. The cat guardian is basically who is going to take over care if something happens to you. Now, I know it's a grim topic, but we asked for that because people were traveling and a lot of times they were flying to other places in the world. So we always ask for a cat guardian to have on file. And this person should know your cat and should know you, should know your cat's care routine, the litter that you use, the food that you feed. Because wouldn't you rather your cat go to somebody that knows all of this so that the transition to that new home is as smooth as possible for your little baby. Next, learn cat behavior. So a lot of us think that cats are aloof and they don't wanna spend time with us, but they actually do prefer human interaction to other stimuli, even food, toys, and scents. It just has to be on their terms. So learning cat behavior will help you form a stronger bond and do more of what your cat wants when your cat wants to do it. Next, learn cat tail language. So animals communicate through body language. They also pick up on our body language and that's how we communicate to them kind of unknowingly. But cat tail language will tell us if our cat is happy, if he's curious, if he's confident, if he's not confident, if he's annoyed. So learning cat tail language will help you understand what your cat is communicating to you. Next cat enrichment hack, spend quality time together. So cats really like routines. So right now I'm working and Jericho is sitting here on my desk staring daggers into my soul. But other routines that you can have is just like a petting session after work. Jericho is very demanding for our nap time. He naps, I watch YouTube, but we lay down in bed when I'm done working. I cook and clean a little bit and then we go lay down and he's very demanding about that routine. So think about different ways that you can spend quality time with your cat because again, cats do prefer human interaction. Number seven is an emergency first aid kit. So this is really great. You can find them online. I'll put I'll put a text guide that includes all of this information with all of the links in the description below. So you can bookmark that page and just go through it as you see fit. But an emergency first aid kit is great because, you know, last minute things happen, some things come up and, you know, at least you can make your cat comfortable on the way to the vet. Next is a pet first aid book. So I have this book that's really short and simple. It has a lot of pictures. It's so easy that a child can understand. In an emergency situation, this is really crucial for it to just be super simple visually show me what to do and then I can do it. Next is a claw clipper. And this is also something I would suggest making a routine out of it. You see Jericho doesn't like when I film, so he's like, I'm out of here. But Jericho doesn't mind when I clip his claws, he actually purrs and then I give him a nice massage setting afterwards. So in that text guide, there is a video showing you how I clip Jericho's claws very easily. Next is a dental health check. So dental care is really important. A lot of cats have dental disease and they also hide their signs of pain. This is something that I'm going through with right now with Jericho. I have to get a dental cleaning for him. I just have to bite the bullet and do it. But it's something that we can also look for at home, look at our cat's teeth. And if we aren't feeding Romney bones or whole prey, we will talk about diet in this video. But if we aren't feeding that, then we need to be brushing our cat's teeth daily. Next is a yearly wellness exam. So going to the vet to do blood work and also just do a physical exam. And you can even ask your vet like, hey, can you show me how to feel around on my cat 
what's normal, what's not normal. If I feel this, is it an emergency? And also ask your vet if your cat is at an ideal body condition. They should have a body condition score card right there in the office. That way you'll know if your cat is underweight, ideal, AKA good, or over ideal, which is overweight. And if your cat gets too stressed going to the vet, I use affordable pet labs. They have urine and feces test kits that they send to you. You get everything that you need and then you ship it back to their lab. They include a prepaid shipping label for that. They don't do interpretations, they just send you the results, but maybe your vet is happy to discuss you know, on the phone or during a video conference, or maybe you can find another vet that does do telecommunication. And they also provide in-home services. So if you live in one of their service areas, you know, you can do that as well. And again, those links for everything is in the text guide in the description below. Okay, next for cat enrichment, lots of playtime. The indoor version of hunting is playing. And playing provides a lot of enrichment, a lot of mental stimulation, right? Because our cats live indoors, they aren't getting that benefit of hunting outdoors. So with hunting, they have to look, you know, plan it out. It's kind of like when we set goals for ourselves, you know, we make a plan, we have these milestones, we accomplished our goals and we feel super mentally stimulated and super accomplished. Same thing with hunting. They're, they're rewarded for their hard work with a nutritious meal. So indoors, we can provide that enrichment through play. So number one tip for you that I have is to get creative with toys. Maybe you're saying, oh, my cat is more interested in the box instead of the toy, but we just need to get a little creative and just think about hunting. I mean, you can even watch videos of cats hunting. Just pay attention to the way that prey moves. They move unpredictably. And so we have to kind of recreate that indoors to get our cats interested in playing. And by the way, if, if your cat's just like staring at the toy and seems like he's moving around, you see his pupils dilating, maybe he's not running or chasing, but him staring at the toy is engagement. So just keep going and get creative with that movement. Next, you can create a safe playtime plan. So obviously we want to play with our cats safely. So if you're using wand toys with lots of strings or feather toys or something that you don't want your cat to eat, designate one spot where you're going to collect your toys while you're playing so that you can use one at a time. And then once you need to clean up and put them away, everything is in one place. Next, I highly, highly recommend wand toys just because they are interactive. And like I said before, they prefer human interaction to other stimuli, but they do really like to play with us. So don't just buy a bunch of toys and expect your cat to know what to do with it. Get some wand toys and really like wave them around and stuff. Jericho loves zipping around on the bed. If you live in a small space like I do, Play with your cat on your bed, just zip around the, with the wand toy, and again, think of how cats hunt. Next, you can DIY a cat wand toy. You can buy a dowel, get some yarn or string, and then tie a toy to the bottom of it, or just play with the string itself. That's a mouse tail right there. Next recommendation I have is the Cat Dancer. So this is a really simple toy. It's a wire with some cardboard at the end of it. We all know that cats love cardboard. That is from trees, that is the cat's natural scratching post, so of course they love cardboard, but it's a really simple and effective toy because there's lots of different ways to play with it. Next, I'd recommend sound toys. Now, these kind of make chirping sounds when they, when they bounce around and move around, so you can take this and play with it as is, just slide it on the floor and throw it, or you can tie it to your wand toy. That's what I do for Jericho. And that noise is going to get them stimulated and get them interested in that toy. Next toy is a crinkle toy, kind of similar to the sound toys, but instead of a chirp sound, it makes a crinkle sound. So there are lots of options online. Again, everything is included in that link in the description, but the crinkle toys are more for like batting and bunny kicking and that crinkle sound kind of gets them excited. Another great option for toys are ball toys. So we have wool and cotton ball toys. These are safe to chew on because they're made out of natural materials. And I have found that cats are more attracted to natural materials. There are also ball track toys. So there's balls on a track that cats paw at and they can watch them roll around. That's super stimulating and enriching because they're making it move and then they're watching it move and then they kind of attack it and they make it move more. So that encourages them to play more. Of course, we all know about catnip toys, but maybe your cat doesn't respond to catnip. There's actually a study that shows cats respond more to silvermine 
compared to catnip. So if catnip hasn't worked for you, definitely try out silver vine. Jericho loves both silver vine and catnip. The other one that's super smelly is valerian root. Honestly, it smells like feet, so I don't use it, but Jericho did respond to that. But silver vine is number one, and then catnip is number two. So you can buy your own catnip, and make your own cat toys or you can buy catnip toys that are already made. The next toy that you can do is a plush toy. So think little stuffed animals. You know, these are great for bunny kicking and kind of tossing around and throwing around, or maybe your cat just likes to cuddle with them. Next are automated toys. So these have a battery in them and you turn them on and they move around on their own. Jericho has a little mouse toy and it has like little bristles on the end and it vibrates. So as it vibrates, it moves around. There's other bugs, bug ones like that too. So again, that's a nice way to get your cat engaged and focused and looking at the toy so that your cat can become more interested in playing. You could also DIY your own cat toys. Like I mentioned, you can DIY a cat a catnip toy. You can just use some, some felt or some fabric and then just throw some catnip or throw some silver vine in there and sew it around and call it a day. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, if some of the catnip and silver vine spills out, even better because now your cat has some to eat <laughs> and play around it. But you could also crochet some of those balls or you can make your own DIY to toilet paper roll toys. So the next section we'll talk about is fun cat furniture. And cat furniture is really enriching because it provides multiple enrichment needs. So that's my biggest hack for you is to get furniture pieces that satisfies multiple needs. So those needs are perching, being up high, scratching, healthy exercise, and resting areas. So Jericho has what's called the cat ladder, and this serves multiple enrichment needs, right? So he can perch on each of the steps, he can be up high because they like to look down on us, and he can scratch on the carpet. He also likes to sit on the top and rest. He curls up in a little ball and he rests there. You can also do cat condos. So Jericho has one of those, you know, basic great cat condos that you can get anywhere. They have multiple levels where you can perch open, and then they also have closed ones if they wanna go in there and rest and hide. They also come with little scratching like sizal rope. And a bonus here is put it by the window because the window's like cat TV. Next is beds. So Jericho already left because I'm talking, but cat beds are really great because that provides a hiding area and also a resting area. You can get an open one, you can get a closed one. Some of them are double purpose. They open up so that it's like a cave or you can push them down and then it'll be like an open concept bed. Or you can DIY a bed. You can use a box and some blankets and just put it in a comfy spot. Again, cats love boxes and blankets make them feel nice and cozy. Next cat enrichment toy is a tunnel. Cats really like tunnels because it encourages running and playing. You can also play in the tunnel. You know, you can move toys in and out of the little holes. You can throw toys through the tunnel. And the tunnel that I have linked in the cat enrichment text guide is really long, it's really big, and it's really sturdy. It's the best tunnel that I've come across. Next is scratching surfaces. So I mentioned this briefly before, but scratching is a natural habit that all cats have. They do it to mark their territory. They do it as a natural stress reliever, and they do it to shed dead layers of their claws. They also do it when they're excited. So Jericho will start scratching the second he gets up, he starts scratching. Before I feed him, he starts scratching. Before we play, he starts scratching. Before we lay down, he starts scratching. So he really loves scratching. So you can get a vertical scratching post or you can get a scratching post that is flush with the floor. I found that Jericho really likes both, so you'll just have to see what your cat likes. And don't forget to teach your cat how to use it. <laughs> and there is a video on how to do that inside that text guide. You could also DIY or upcycle a post. So I did this with Jericho's scratching post. It uh, had sizal rope, but instead I took carpet, so I used the ripple rug bottom only carpet, and I wrapped that around the post instead. I have upgraded since then, but if you have an old scratcher that could use some love, that's a nice way to recreate some new enrichment in your cat space. The next cat enrichment hack is a window perch. Like I said, watching outside the window is like watching TV, and it doesn't matter what your view is like. When I worked as a cat sitter, I visited a client, and the cat that I was visiting was in the window, and the view was across the alleyway, the other apartment building. It wasn't like, you know, a beach or like nice trees in a park. It was literally another building. But the cat was sitting in the window, and the person who lived across the way also had a cat sitting in the window. So that's enrichment right there. Maybe there's bugs on the screen. Maybe there's leaves flying by. Maybe somebody's taking the trash into the alley down the stairs. It's, it's just being able to look outside. There's always something to look at, even if the view isn't 
a, a you know nice park or a beach. Next guy in Richmond hat, cat activity centers. My favorite one for this is the ripple rug. You can hide toys under it. You can hide treats under it to encourage hunting. And you can also play around it. This also provides a nice scratching area, a nice resting area, a nice hiding spot. So again, multiple purposes in one thing. Next is my favorite section and that is diet. And diet is crucial for enrichment because if our cat isn't feeling well, if we aren't feeding our cats the proper food, species appropriate food our cat isn't gonna want to play our cat isn't want to gonna isn't going to want to run up and down his condos so diet is really really important I see diet as the foundation of health obviously there are other environmental things going on but diet is something that we can control so the first step that you can do is test your water quality so I tested my water quality and apparently my water is supposed to be the best like my tap water but it still had chloroform and other disinfection byproducts and I was, I was kind of shocked to see the results and especially because it was higher than the US average. So that's pretty concerning. So I tested my water quality and now I have a reverse osmosis countertop carafe model. Again, links for everything in the description in that text guide. Next, I like to use a food grade silicone mat. That's what I feed Jericho on. That's how I meal prep his food. Make, makes cleanup super, super easy. Next, I would recommend learning how to read cat food labels. I have an entire playlist showing you how to do this. I went decades of having cats before I realized that stuff on the label actually means something and not what we think and all the fancy terms don't actually mean anything. So definitely learn how to read cat food labels so that you actually understand what you're feeding your cat because words like premium don't actually mean better quality when it comes to labels. Next, I would recommend that you transition to a raw food diet, either commercially complete or home prepared. Obviously use a complete recipe. And I do have a video course for that it is called Switch to Raw Blueprint. So it will show you how to read labels, all of my cat food reviews, and it also includes a step-by-step -step plan to go from dry or wet food to a commercially complete raw diet. But raw is as close as we can get to natural prey, right? We mimic what whole prey provides when we are feeding a raw diet. It's fresh, suitable for cats, and it's easy to digest nutrients, and it will really nourish your cat. Jericho's eight years old and he runs around like he's a kitten. His litter box is normal, he's fully enriched, and his blood work is perfect. For healthy cat treats, you can use freeze-dried raw meats and organs, so something like beef liver or chicken thigh, and you can also use the dehydrated versions of those as well. And if your cat's a little picky, you can use some salmon, and just sprinkle that on the new food. These are some of the strategies that I teach inside my course, but that's a little freebie for you because cats do get attracted to that fishy smell. Next cat enrichment hack is treat release toys. So this is a nice engaging way to get your cat more active and work for his food. Again, we want to simulate that hunting experience. So we can use treat release toys and food puzzle toys to get our cat a little more active and engaged with playtime. You can also hide treats for hunting. So I used to do this a lot for Jericho. Now I do clicker training, but you can take a glass jar lid, just put your cat's freeze-dried raw treats or your cat's current food on the jar lids and then put them around your apartment, like on top of the cat tree, on, top, on the cat condos and the beds, inside the ribble rug, just to get your cat a little active and more mentally stimulated. So they're working for their food and then they get a nice yummy reward once they find their food. You can also DIY food puzzle toys. You can make some DIY toilet paper roll puzzle toys and you can put it on your food mat. And this is really great because it's simple, it's easy to do, and you can just do it right there on your cat's food mat. Next cat enrichment hack you can do is to build a cat garden. So some safe plants that I talked about before, catnip, silver vine, valerian, or you can get cat grass, that's usually uh, wheat grass or oat grass. I like to go to the farmer's market, there's a local grass man near me and he grows it for me. So that's easy for me to do because it doesn't last that long and it does take a while for it to grow. Like you have to, it takes more work then I think it's worth. So it's just easier to buy a kit, but you can't, or buy one that's already made, but you can buy a grass growing kit. With the herbs though, with catnip and silver vine, I would suggest hiding it away from your cat because I did buy one for Jericho. I bought a catnip plant for Jericho and he just destroyed it <laughs> trying to eat it. So I would definitely put that out of your cat's reach if you're going to go that route. Next cat enrichment category we'll talk about is routines. And I did mention this a little bit before, but routines help cats feel safe and confident in their territory. Yes, your home is your cat's territory, but routines, again, outside, we have to think about their life outside. 
Even if your cat's never been outside, these are natural instincts that are ingrained all, in all cats. So outside, they are both predator and prey. So we have to think about the cat's life outside. They're not gonna do something on a whim. They're not going to be impromptu. They like to do the same things. They have their routine. The, maybe if they are indoor, outdoor, they will go around to their different territories and their different spots. They'll spray and mark and, and all of that. So we wanna make sure that we can give our cats routines and predictability indoors so that they're safe and confident to prevent behavior issues and health issues in the long run. So number one, I would suggest a cat feeding routine. Out in the wild, they don't have an all access buffet 24 seven. So feeding our cats at scheduled meal times is a nice way to break up the day so that they aren't overeating, but also provide that predictability. You can have a playtime routine, of course. So I would suggest maybe before you feed your cat or after you feed your cat, maybe right when you get home from work, and then again before mealtime. If you can get three sessions in a day, that's great. Start with one and work your way up from there. Another routine here is to reduce stress around the home. So I would suggest leaving things where they are, like don't move things around too chaotically. If you have a routine change, change in your life, try to do it gradually, just so it isn't a sudden cold turkey change, so to say, so that your cat isn't like, whoa, what's going on? The next cat enrichment hack that I have for you, maybe you haven't thought of this, but it is your litter box setup. So obviously, again, we're going to think about our cat's life outside. They like to have a nice private, secluded, and safe area to do their business because that's when they are most vulnerable. So our cat litter box location definitely matters. And cats are also very clean creatures. They spend about 30% of their day grooming themselves. So obviously they also want a clean litter box. And keeping the litter box clean regularly also makes cleanup easier for you. So for litter box location, a hack here, I put the litter box between the couch and the closet wall. It's a little indent. It's a low traffic area and it fits perfectly there. So put something, put it out in the open, but also in a little secluded area that's low traffic. You know, don't put it inside the closet where the cat has to jump around and, you know, climb a mountain to get there. Make it easily accessible because if the cat isn't comfortable using it, he's not going to use it. He's going to find somewhere else to use. Okay, another thing, another hack here is to keep, keep the litter box clean. And we do that, I use a stainless steel litter box because plastic traps bacteria, even with regular washing. Stainless steel is a one-time investment and it helps me clean the litter box. Nothing gets caked on or stuck to the box. Same goes for your scoop, ditch plastic, go with a metal scoop. With litter, the hack here is to use naturally clumping and unscented. Clumping is great because that allows you to remove the urine waste from the box instead of mixing it around with all the clean litter. Again, cats don't wanna walk around on dirty litter, so using clumping litter is much better. And unscented is good because the cat's nose is so much stronger than ours, it's like 40 times stronger than ours, and it's only inches away from the actual litter when they're in the box. So we wanna make sure that we're using fragrance-free because again, we wanna make our cats as comfortable as possible so that they actually use it. As for tracking litter, I use a nice cotton rug, but you can also use a double layer litter mat. That does a really good job at tracking litter. And the rug I like just because it looks nicer, it's natural, it's 100% cotton, and it does do a good job at getting the litter off of Jericho's paws. You can make a DIY litter genie. So I use a candy jug, very nice, but make sure that the the opening is large so that you can actually pull out the litter. Now for cleaning routine, my hack here is to scoop after each use and clean it out completely once a week. But instead of putting the whole bag into the box, I just put a huge mound in the middle. So four to five inches in the middle, I reshape the mound after I scoop and I add more to it if I need to. At the end of the week, I just take everything, put it into the DIY litter genie bag, wash everything in the tub because I don't have outdoor access to a hose. So I wash everything in the tub and then clean it every single week. There's no smell. Also, there's no smell because Jericho eats in a species appropriate diet. So that's another nice little hack. But there's also no smell because I'm removing the waste and I'm cleaning it out very regularly. Another hack that you can do in between vet visits is that you can buy urine test strips. So these aren't as accurate as doing a urinalysis, but if you want to test at home, you can use the urine test strips. I would suggest doing a week's worth and taking the average because it'll show you the pH, it'll show you if there's blood in it, it'll show you like basically everything that you get on a urinalysis. It's not as reliable because you're, you're relying on color changes 
but instead of like an accurate number, but it's still something that you can do at home in between visits. The next cat enrichment hack category we'll talk about is cat training. So a lot of us think that only dogs can benefit from training, but cats can benefit from training as well. This provides a lot of mental stimulation, a lot of enrichment, and it's also a nice bonding experience. And you can also train positive behaviors in your cat, which is really nice for your relationship. So I do clicker training with Jericho and this is really great because he likes to counter surf. So I'm clicking, clicker training him to understand to sit and stay. So he has his own designated area near the kitchen where he can sit and stay and he can watch me. So he's gotten better when I'm making my own food. I just, I just have to practice when he's making his food. But this clicker training can also come in handy because you can clicker train your cat to go into the carrier and that will make traveling with your cat much easier. If you have private outdoor access, you can also train your cat to walk on a harness and leash. And that can be really fun because that provides a lot of mental stimulation and enrichment. And clicker training comes in handy before you take your cat outside because you can clicker train your cat to know his name to look at you when you say look at me and you can also again like I said clicker train your cat to go in the carrier so if something happens when you're outside instead of you know oh my gosh what do I do you can say the command click you know say the command and get your cat into the carrier and then click and reward if you have the ability to do this you can also build a catio either on your balcony or if you have a backyard so this is really great it gives a nice safe enclosure to the outdoor space i can't do this right now unfortunately but it is a good idea for those of you that can another thing that you can do is social enrichment with friends so Jericho is very gregarious and he's very confident in his territory because I do all of these things. So whenever we have a friend come over, even if we have a maintenance guy come over to like fix the sink, Jericho's like, what are you doing? He, he stays his distance, but he's very out in the open like, oh, what's going on? My best friend came over once and it was Jericho's first time meeting her. She took a nap on the couch and Jericho napped with her. Not only did he nap with her, but when she moved, he still stayed there. You know how like you move, you're like I have to be a skeleton before for my so my cat doesn't move she moved and he still stayed there i was like wow <laughs> next cat enrichment hack is to hire a professional sitter when you travel so i know you have friends and family i know you have neighbors but if you truly want to travel with peace of mind i'm not talking badly about them but hiring a professional it's like this is their job this is their career they're there to do what you tell them to do when you tell them to do it. Whereas sometimes if you hire a friend, they might be like, oh, you know, I had a change of plans. Can I just go in a few hours? Something like that. Whereas a professional sitter is like, no, this is my job. This is my plan for the day. And that's how I, that's how I operated when I was a cat sitter. So we had cats that required medication. We had cats that needed specific timing, kids that needed to be fed multiple times a day. When you hire a professional, it's like, it's their job to do what you tell them to do. So I highly, highly recommend that when you travel. And also, even shy cats benefit from it. I've had so many people tell me, you'll never see my cat. And then in a few visits, we're best friends. One of the cats, he was shy. He would hide under the bed when I when he heard the key. And then I would be like, I saw that. And he came out to the sound of my voice because he knew that it was me. So first, he didn't know who was coming in because he just heard the jingle jangle of the keys. But then he came out to the sound of my voice. Like, that's so special. And isn't that such a nice like feeling you get when you're on vacation, you're worried about your cats, and then your sitter's like, oh look, we're best friends now. He's sitting in my lap and we're playing and stuff. Like, that's such a nice experience. Next cat enrichment hack is sense enrichment. So I found this out again through cat sitting. Every time I went to a client's home, I took off my shoes and where did the cats go? nosedive into my shoes because <laughs> they're like where have you been who have you been with who are you i want to get to know you cats know their way around through smells and whenever i got home from cat sitting jericho straight into my shoes and he still does this to this day even though i'm not cat sitting anymore i do make friends with cats that i meet outside so he's always sniffing on my shoes sniffing on my clothes i let him sniff me <laughs> so scent enrichment is really really powerful because again that's how cats get to know where you've been and who you've been with jericho's like who you've been cheating on me with <laughs> the next cat enrichment hack category we'll talk about is adding new family members now for me i have a single cat i do all of these things jericho isn't lonely he has a lot of enrichment i can only take care of one cat i only have the means and the resources to take care of one cat so that's how many i have but if you have the means and the resources to take care of multiple cats you can you know bring multiple cats home i would say though get the foundation of enrichment done first 
don't rely on a second cat to entertain your first cat because it's more important that you entertain your cat because how can you entertain two cats if you can't even entertain one cat, right? So introducing yourself to a cat, get down to their level, let them come to you if you're going to the adoption place to adopt a new cat or wherever. This is how I got every cat when I was cat sitting to be friends with me, every street cat that I meet, I get down to their level because when we're standing, that's intimidating. Let them come to you, let them sniff you. What I like to do is grab sticks and I <laughs> and I uh, slide them around on the on the pavement and then they come and they, li they love playing with me. And then I also talk to them, they get to know my voice. So now when I come by, I say hello to them and they come running to my voice. <laughs> Next is when you're introducing cats properly, you wanna make sure that you're setting up a an individual room with all of these cat enrichment needs for the new cat. Keep it closed off for now and then let your other cats, you know, exchange scents. You can put some socks or whatever belongings in each area, exchange the scents. That'll help your cats kind of get to know each other before they're in, you know, one-on-one -on -one contact. You can feed your cats at that shared door and you can also play with your cats at that shared door. And if you're able to, you can kind of build like a gated door so that your cats can come in contact with each other, but not out in the open where there can be a physical altercation. So you want to very, very gradually and slowly introduce your cats to each other using all of these things like play, food, and the scent enrichment. And if you want everything all in one place, you can get my Thriving Cats bundle that is linked in the description below. So that includes all of my cat care binders to help you build a confident and comfortable territory for your cat. My Switch to Raw Blueprint video course go from dry or wet to a commercially complete raw diet and my homemade cat food starter kit that will take you from a commercial fresh food diet to a complete homemade diet and there are complete recipes for adult cats included i wish it would be my life would be so much easier if i had this when i first adopted jericho but I, now i get to give it to you so that is the thriving cats bundle includes everything you need for your cat's happy and enriching life all in one place thanks for watching